Hey, good morning. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Route. Today I'm going to walk you through how I build my Helix to get over the air conditioner and into my version of the Moffat Tunnel so I can punch through the Continental Divide and head to Winter Park. I'm going to show you how I do the cork and lay the Pico Flex around a few of the turnouts in uh, getting to Winter Park and through the Moffat Tunnel. Again, I'm also going to show you a pretty detailed section of how I build the Helix to get over the air conditioning unit here in the train shed. I'm going to do that right now. I'm glad to have you here with me. And I'm glad to have you here with me today on the Iron Horse Route. If you are not a subscriber yet, please go ahead and do so. Uh, I do encourage you to share this with your other model and friends you think might enjoy this video. <clears throat> Today's video, as I mentioned, this portion, for example, is how I uh, prepare and build the helix that I'm going to use to get... i got to get up about a foot and a half to get over an air conditioner. And I'm going to show you some stills here. We're going to go through that, talk you through how I do it. Um, I do have a playlist that I'm going to put later in the video. It's a uh, How I Build the Helix um, playlist and for $100, I think, is, is what I, uh, the title of it. And I'm going to put that playlist in um, a card above a little later in the video. <clears throat> I'll have a uh, text box that will explain that. And um, basically, I use the same uh, the same basic method on this helix that I did with the other one. One mistake that I made, um, and I kind of had to I had to make a choice. Um, I didn't build this helix outside of the. Um, I didn't build this helix modularly off the layout and then come plug it in and I didn't do that because of the fact that I wanted to um, let's see there we go I didn't do that because I wanted to make sure that it fit snugly and perfectly in there I didn't have any extra room um, as you can see half of it is a double track main Here's a shot from inside the Moffat Tunnel. Basically what I did here is I have a um, platform that runs from the air conditioner. There's a shot of, uh, there's a double turnout inside the bottom corner of that helix, probably in one of the most awful places there could possibly be on the layout. There's a double turnout. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I had a short there and I was sending John pictures and they got mixed up in there, but that's all good. I initially wasn't going to have double main coming off of it, so the Helix wasn't designed to have two tracks on half of it. But in the design process, I saw that in the path coming back down to Denver, um, when we're coming back out of here, I was going to have a very, very steep grade. Um, and, and I was going to have a... It would have had a really nice trestle, but it was in a bad spot in the train shed where it would have gotten bumped and stuff real easily. Um, it would have been difficult to kind of corner that off, and it was kind of a high air, a high access area. All right, and so here we go. This is a picture of the. This is basically I'm up at Winter Park right now, and here is the tunnel. I left myself, uh, I was able to, the way I did that, I was able to keep some storage space and some space for my work stuff up there. And there's the completed helix without the um, path coming back down out of it yet. I had not put that connection in when I shot this part. But basically that's it. And um, let's see here. I don't like that one either. Let's go playing with OBS. And as soon as I move, I get into the way. Let's see, how do I cover up my face? That's probably the best thing to do, huh? If I do shift and a shift in that and then control in that. There we go.
I did lay doubles in there because I have a passing there now. And I'll have videos coming out on that. Uh, let me get this changed here. I will have videos coming out on that here uh, soon. I got, um, I'm doing a video with another channel here shortly that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be coming out pretty soon and this sometime this summer. And I'm also going to be doing having some videos come out on several passings and terminus and sidings and how I lay um, um, turnouts in certain situations. Um, I might discuss wiring a little bit, DC wiring a little bit, but I'm not going to be DC too terribly much longer. As soon as finances permit, I'm going to be making a change to DCC++. Um, it takes a little bit of an investment, mainly because of the decoders for the locos. I need new locos too pretty bad. And let's see here. Initially, I had uh, this planned as coming off too steep, and then I did make a change. Um, I extended it out. I'll show you that in a bit. But um, there we go. Yeah, see, I initially laid it, and it was going to be uh, give me a, quite a little bit of a boost going down that hill, so I pulled it up, redid it, and then extended it. Yeah. And so now, at this point, I felt very satisfied. I know I, I knew still I had some issues going on up there in the um, in the helix. There's there's two turnouts in there. It's a double main coming down half of it that was not planned. So the platform was not planned to have a double main in a 12 degree turn so I actually those trains will actually rub in that helix when they pass each other without derailing it's amazing um, it's happened a lot of times um, it scares me to death every time too and here we go we got the little man coming through here he's gonna roll I don't want to get into that and um, this actually, I really think this was the first uh, time it went through. And I tried to catch that for y'all. Um, really nothing major to prevent um, any kind of track issues that should have arisen. There was, I wasn't doing much in turns or no turnouts in turns or anything crazy like that. We're going to go ahead and get you back over here for a minute. And back up there for a minute. Can't decide what I want. And back down here for a minute. You. I want to thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it, guys. And if you want to know more about how exactly to build the Helix or exactly how I built my Helixes, I'm going to refer you to this card right here right now. All right. And that's going to take you to the playlist that shows you exactly how I did my Helix in a modular capacity and then plugged it into the layout. It's not hard, not expensive. Um, I do appreciate you. Um, I don't have Patreon, Teespring, or anything like that, so I do include a wish list in my description. I did want you all to know that was there in case anybody was interested in donating to the channel. Also, I want to encourage you, if you have not already, to subscribe, click the bell icon, share this with any of your other modeling friends you think might enjoy my videos. And I do appreciate y'all watching with me today. Thanks, guys. Look forward uh, to uh, looking forward to a video coming out soon. Um, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with another channel. And also, again, check look for me on um, weekday mornings, um, early time. I'm going to try to sneak in and do some impromptu live streams. Thanks, guys. I hope you all have a good summer. I hope we all have a good summer together. I'll see you all around.